everybody, my name is Christina and I work for the Bruce County Public Library at the Sowell Beach in Wyerton Branches. Uh, today is Groundhog's Day, so we are going to do an experiment uh, that involves shadows and the important role they play in the prognostication uh, for Groundhog's Day. Um, as a, a side note, today in Wyerton would have been the 65th uh, anniversary of the Wyerton Willie Festival. Um, so if you, and normally there's free pancakes and wake up Willie fireworks and the prognostication that everyone goes to. So although we didn't get to do that today, I hope that you got to start off with pancakes or get to enjoy pancakes at some point today. Um, and I also wanted to share some fun groundhog facts. Um, so did you know that a groundhog and a woodchuck are the same animal. Um, other names that groundhogs go by are uh, uh, whistle pigs, land beavers, and marmots. Um, and let's see if you can say this tongue twister at home. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> Give it a try and see if you can do it too. Um, and here are some other trivia questions about groundhogs. Um, how big do you think a groundhog can get? Can it get five pounds, nine pounds, 20 pounds? If you guess nine pounds, you're correct. Um, and what family of mammal, mammals does the groundhog belong to? Uh, do you think it's part of the rodent, the marsupial, or the carnivore? If you guess rodent, which is what mice and squirrels are a part of, then you guessed correct. Um, and what do you think a groundhog likes to do during the winter? He likes to hibernate or sleep, which is uh, why it's part of the Wyerton Willie Festival. They have the fireworks because they have to unfortunately wake poor Willie up um, in order to get his prognostication. Um, and where do you think a groundhog makes its home? They like to burrow um, a tunnel in the ground and their burrow can have up to five entrances and they use it to store their food, raise their families and, and hibernate in the winter. Um, and does anyone know the name of the person who started Groundhog Day in Wyerton? If you guess Mac McKenzie, then good for you because that's really hard. Um, but if you want to, uh, come to the Wyerton Library um, or loan, we can put some curbside books out for you. Uh, we have some history books about uh, the founder. Um, and do you know uh, the names of any of the other famous groundhog predictors? Because we have Wyerton Willie, but there's some across Canada and the States. Um, there's General Burkegaard Lee in Georgia. Uh, uh, Shubanaki Sam in Nova Scotia, uh, Sta Staten Island Chuck in uh, New York City, this is a big one, uh, Punxsutawney Phil from Pennsylvania, I think we have some books on him in the library too, uh, Queen Charlotte in North Carolina, and Winnipeg Willow. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are some other groundhogs that provide us insight whether spring, it's going to be uh, early spring, um, or winter's gonna continue. Um, and we have, I'll just mention a few stories we have in the library that you could request. Um, this is a nonfiction one uh, called Groundhog's Day by Lisa Harrington. And inside it even has some uh, Wyerton photos as well as photos of, uh, about wire, uh, groundhogs um, from different places in North America. Uh, and it has lots of good facts in it that you can find out about groundhogs. So if you enjoyed that part of the trivia of today, you can look into that. Um, some other good stories are Mr. Groundhog wants a day off. <gasps> He's got his shorts on. And I've got Groundhog Dilemma. And this is a really sweet one that's perfect for Valentine's as well. It's called Ground Hug Day. So if you 
want some extra love in your life, this is a great one to put on hold. So getting back to our experiment, what you will need is, um, if you can at home cut out a little groundhog, I did one that looks like Wyerton Willie, so he's an albino uh, groundhog, but yours could be brown or whatever color you want to make your groundhog. What else do we need? You'll also need a flashlight and ideally to make shadows, a blank wall or a poster uh, that you can make shadows on. So let's get started. Um, so when we do an experiment, we also always come up with a hypothesis. Um, so what do we think is going to happen? So um, if the weather is sunny out on Groundhog Day, which is February 2nd, um, when the groundhog comes out of his burrow, do you think he's going to see his shadow or he won't see his shadow? You have to think of the sun and the light. Um, and I'm guessing if it's sunny, then he might see his shadow. Um, and if it's not sunny, then he won't see his shadow. And if he sees his shadow because it's sunny out, um, then he'll get scared is the folklore that goes along with groundhogs. Um, and then he goes back into his burrow for six more weeks of winter. Um, but if he doesn't see his shadow, then, then it's an early spring. So that's the fun folklore about it. So we'll turn our flashlight on here so you can kind of see um, it's got a little bit brighter on the wall back here and I've got Willie's den that he's hiding in so the flashlight signifies that the sun has come out <laughs> and if Willie goes to check outside and we wake him up with our fireworks I don't know if you can see it but there is he can see his shadow and then he scurries back down into his burrow. So then we have uh, six more weeks of winter. But if the sun is not out, if there's a cloud in the way and um, he comes out because he wakes up from our fireworks and he's, there's no shadow, then he says, hey, I'm going to stay out. I'm not going to go back and hibernate. And um, then it's an early spring. So depends if you like winter or not. If you don't like winter, um, then you might be excited or not excited. So our experiment was really considering the light. And uh, because um, Willie is a solid material, so in real life and in our fake paper one, that means he's opaque. And when the light was shining on him, Here, then it made a shadow. Um, but if we redid this experiment and Willie was clear, like made of glass, then he wouldn't make a shadow. I'm gonna try and hang my flashlight back up and do some more shadow. Does anyone um, know any fun uh, shadow puppets they can do at home? So one of my favorite ones is the duck. So you start by cupping your hand like this, and then you curl your other fingers back to make the eye. And then, I wonder if you can see that back there. Then you get a little duck. I'll try and bring my leg closer. Um, it's hard to make shadow puppets all by Earth. The video, but that's how he works. So I hope you'll give him a try and feel free to share more uh, hand puppets uh, if you uh, got any or another great idea is you can cut out uh, more characters and make your own shadow puppet using opaque um, materials at home. Look who it is! It's my buddy Willie! He hangs out at the library sometime and he wanted me to let you know that if you need any resources on groundhogs, you can visit the library's website 
at library.brucecounty.on.ca uh, or call your local library and ask them to find you some materials. Um, we really hope you enjoyed today's experiment and we hope that you'll tune in uh, for another week when we do more experiments. Happy Groundhog Day everybody!